avoid negative places. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to think about that moment in your life when you thought you hit rock bottom, when you thought you lost everything, the saddest moment in your life. Where were you? You see, us as humans, we can associate things, incidents, with a place. And some of you might have that bad place as an office, a room in your home. By a change of scenery, that can actually do wonders for you. I have a friend who hated his job for five years. And every time I meet him, he's just complaining about it. He's complaining about his boss. He's complaining about his work. He cannot stand driving to work in the morning. I visited him in the office one day and I had a look at his cubicle. It was ordained, dark, dead, and dull. And I asked, how long have you been working on this cubicle? And he told me five years. Exactly the amount of time he started complaining. So I said, how hard is it to change your cubicle? I actually went with him to his boss and asked, is there a chance that he could relocate to a new cubicle? We picked him a new place near the window. We can see the sunlight. I bought him a flower to decorate his office. And within two or three weeks, I see his mood start to change. He's smiling more. He loves what he does. Even though the job itself hasn't changed. His boss didn't change. Just a simple change of scenery. So look into that place that was holding you back. That place that kills your goals. And I don't know, do something about it.